Hi, I'm Tom and this is my Rover 416 Tourer. What is on Tom? Thank you very much for coming with no, us today. Thank you for filming. the opportunity. Thank you. Um, yeah, you've won a favourite 10 award at our show. Certainly did. What can you tell us about your rover? Daily dip for years as a mechanic on chopped springs, rough as arseholes. Mm. Then bought wood to it, then ended up painting it, and it is how you see it today. I think I like it's basically it's British. I like yeah. old British. This is technically like the one of the latest. British cars you can buy. One though. of the last. Yeah. That, well, they're saying that now because they went onto the bubbles, the bubbly stuff. That's the last of that shape that existed, right. basically. Okay. They were making them when they were making the newer models. Um, it's unique. Yeah. It's it's been it's been greatly accepted. Absolutely. It's been a labour of love. It's been through many iterations in its life, and it's got to where it is now. Luckily, a lot of people like it, which is quite flattering. First show I went to with that in its current form. Would have been retro roads all right that matter uh shelves walsh it's very that, local show to me is that looking how it did now no it went right. there on wood with the wood on it it went there on the suzuki three spokes and it's been there now nice and it picked up another award there as well for the best wagon so yeah you won an award at our show what was your experience of roll hard like fantastic I was, it was awesome yeah first year i'd been genuinely always had it on my radar never actually made it there and then because the car was doing well, applied, got in, and I was it's an awesome show. It's an awesome venue, I think. I've been to I've been to Scrambles and it's just such an awesome venue. There's so like so interesting the site is, you know what I mean? So how old are you? Me, I'm thirty seven. Thirty seven? In a few weeks. Oh well happy birthday for a f hell. I thought you were loads younger than that, mate. No, I'm old as <laughs> f <around. laughs> How uh how long have you been driving for? I've been driving since I was seventeen. And what, yeah. what was your first car? Mm, it's a Peugeot one oh six. <laughs> I know, I know. Then I got into Rovers, so it yeah. didn't get much better. I don't know if that's uphill or downhill, but it's a movement. <laughs> At the time, it was downhill, definitely, because obviously Rovers ain't got the the image that a lot of stuff has. So you, you need to be prepared to go on your own because mm -hmm. there's not much aftermarket support at all. Mm -hmm. I'm lucky; I've got a Honda engine, so it's got a lot of cheap Chinese eBay boltons in the bay, well, mainly the manifold. And the rear suspension Civic, but Rover, in their wisdom, didn't use Civic, used their own for the front. What's, so, what's, um, because everyone says that they're basically Hondas underneath, like where does the separation lay? The rear end is okay. Civic, but the story was that apparently Rover wanted it to feel like a Rover, so they put their own McPherson strut suspension on the front. So, is there's it? nothing Honda off the shelf other than set a couple of rare Hondas that of the same suspension on the front. You can tell, they, they show their age, but they, I think they're a very strong, good driving car, to be fair. Okay. Obviously, they are very synonymous with just being taken to the shops by your nan, yeah. and all people learning to drive in them and whatnot. So, they're not, I don't, they're not seen as a driver's car, but I see no real reason why not. And that oh, one's yeah. carried me around the country 
up and down, left, right, to all the shows, no problem, to be fair to it. So, yeah. Right. So tell us about your wheels, Tom. The wheels are an SSR Formula Mesh, mm -hmm. 15, from Japan. Uh, I believe they're about a 94 wheel, I think the sticker said. Um, bought them for a Civic, I also own, but they're the wrong PCD for the Civic. Right. They're also the wrong PCD for a Rover. So you just bought a set of wheels, basically? Yes, because they were cheap. <laughs> Back in the day, now they're worth a fortune. Um, so I've fully converted the PCD of the vehicle because I don't like running adapters. Yeah, no, I'm so not a fan either. There's no adapters. There's a small 10 mil spacer on the front for caliper clearance. But yeah, I've relicked the rears. They've been fully rebuilt by myself. I had mm -hmm. a polish by a local gent. Um, I had all the hardware zinc coated, powder coat the centers, built them myself. And nice. touch wood, they've been exceptional. I haven't got a, I don't drop a single bit of PSI. Really? <laughs> rare for a split rim as far as I know. I built it because I owned it and I like them. You have done a smashing job mate. Well, thank you like, very much. Truly <laughs> it is such an aesthetically pleasing car but it doesn't look like it's I've been. I've tried to keep it simple and I think that's all it is but as I say I've said before they buy nostalgia. Yeah. So everybody's got a memory of a Rover. Be it yourself. Yeah. You carried around one as a kid. Anybody older probably learned to drive in one. So everybody's nan had one. It's just it's age nostalgia. So I'll give you my little story about Rover because you might might be interested. And yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, like I was saying, so, you know, Rovers aren't necessarily the worst cars in the world and they're certainly not the best, but people have attachments to them. Yes. Um, my mum had a, a red Rover 214 saloon and she got that after trading in um, an E28 525E. That was a bold move, that was back in the day. Stupid move, that was. <laughs> So as, much, as, as much as I've got a bolt to yeah, the writer. done <laughs> done right it would have been great to have to go the other way around but of course honestly when I look at your car I, I would I, I don't know no nah, I'd have the E28 but <laughs> but uh, it is an absolutely astounding car thank you very like, much Tom I've, followed, I've followed a simple recipe you have put it on the floor Shiny wheels. A lot of people can follow recipes People though. are magpies, so we all like shiny things. I love individuality. Yeah. I love, that's why I love the shows like Roll Hard, Retro Rides, Driver's Collection, because it's such a varied group of people. You could be sat next to a classic hot rod. You could be in a modified Rover, which you don't see. Mm -hmm. Or you could be in some utterly mental and Japanese. And it's just, everyone's there for the same thing. Everyone's on the same page. Definitely. So I think that's what makes the event so, to be fair, is that kind of, I suppose it's a unison, but without division. No, you know I know what I mean. It's the, it's the inclusivity of it, even yeah. though everyone's turning up trying to be different. You know what I mean? Of course. Yeah.